Circuit. Brad Diamond profiles Joe Hudon in this continental smooth trip. For 15 years, Joe Hudon was the toast of harness racing in British Columbia. He'd won over 3,400 races, captured the North American UDRS Championship three times, and life was good. But then in 1992, Joe made a decision that had his friends shaking their heads in disbelief. He was going to leave British Columbia and head to Ontario to set up shop on the Ontario Jockey Club circuit, home to the country's top trainers and drivers. I like Canada, so I kind of wanted to move to Toronto. And uh, sure, it was the, the, probably the, one of the toughest places to race, but um, there's nothing like a good challenge in life. And uh, it probably rege uh, regenerated me. Uh, I was kind of getting stale uh, in BC. You know, nobody cares. It's like a hockey player. Nobody cares how good you were someplace else or how many races you win someplace else. The only people that could probably come in here and be where they started from uh, when they get here would be the guys from the Meadowlands because everybody thinks it's a better racing than, than here or is good. And uh, anything, anybody else that comes from anywhere would have to start uh, at the bottom just like I did. Uh, nobody cares how how good I was or how good I thought I was or whatever, you know. It's like a hockey player, you're only as good as your last shift. There are many in this business who believe that drivers should drive and trainers should train, but you don't do both, especially in the big money races. Well, Joe Hudon does both, and if there's been any criticism, he hasn't heard it. Most of the owners that I got have uh, faith in me as a driver and trainer, uh, so they don't tell me anything, and I don't, I don't feel no pressure that way. And uh, the guys that are driving on the Grand Circuit or uh, racing the Meadowlands and across Canada, they know who I am. They don't uh, intimidate me, and I don't intimidate them. 1994 has been a good year for Joe Hudon, thanks to horses like Bitesome. The $4,200 yearling won the Canadian Trotting Classic and then finished third in the Hambletonian. But the horse receiving all Joe's attention now is Rover Hanover. He's won only two races and 14 starts, but was a 50 to 1 upset winner in the Metro Final, producing a $251,000 payday. Up next, the Cadillac Breeders' Crown, and Rover Hanover has the ring. Well, uh, Rover's a very handy horse. Uh, I don't think there's too many horses can beat him off the gate if I if I time the gate right and he gets his right foot forward, there's not too many horses that can outleave him, that's for sure. He, in the Metro, we circle him from the four hole and uh, in the eliminations last week, I had the six hole and when the gate got out of the way, he was in front. So uh, I know that uh, they're gonna have to come to him first.